This administration is known for completely turning around 180 degrees uh, and surprising everyone. I also think when we're talking about how Trump is dealing with Iran, we need to have an open mind and consider the possibility, at least possibly if he's reelected, the possibility of him trying to uh, pursue an opening with Iran. I think it's possible that Trump would accept another nuclear deal with Iran that is basically the same as JCPOA, only maybe some slight modifications, perhaps a slightly different name, but this is something we've also seen with Trump, is that he tries to present himself as someone who's bringing something very, very new to the table, but in practice he ends up doing things that are quite similar to Obama as well as other predecessors of his. Iraq finds itself in an extremely difficult situation due to history, religion, trade, geography, tourism, and so many other areas, Iran is very linked to Iraq. And that is not gonna change anytime soon. Also, Iraq needs the United States as an ally. When it comes to major investments in Iraq's economy, particularly uh, the oil sector, also when it comes to dealing with the threats posed by the remnants of ISIS, the Iraqis have to continue working with the American leadership. So officials in Baghdad find themselves in a very difficult position when it comes to maintaining uh, warm relations with both Tehran and Washington. In the event that a military confrontation would break out between the US and Iran, it's very difficult to imagine Iraq not becoming uh, a victim of that conflict. I think the odds are good that Iraq would be a location of some major flashpoints because the Iranians have many cards to play in Iraq. There are many U.S. interests in Iraq, and Iran certainly would respond to an attack on their country. I think possibly acting in different parts of the region, Iraq definitely being one of those places.